So yesterday, uh, Venerable Chuni um, uh, talked about how, I think it was His Holiness that said, the purpose of monastic life is to dedicate our li ourselves to the practice of the Dharma. And that got me thinking about um, when I first came here, uh, what my practice was like. And um, uh, really, it was uh, only on the cushion in the meditation hall. Uh, once I got up, uh, you know, my mind was all over the place. I was uh, really looking at everybody else's behavior. I wasn't looking at my own at all. <laughs> and of course, that brought a lot of misery. <laughs> I was not happy. <laughs> um, but over some time, I started uh, looking at what my mind was doing when I was off the cushion. And um, although it was painful, it was quite instructive. Uh, and uh, what I saw was that uh, a lot of what my mind did was criticize and judge uh, others and myself. Um, and again, misery-making, misery-making. The interesting thing about living in community was uh, when my mind was in those places of criticizing others or myself, I was surrounded by and I was being reacted to by people that were offering me kindness. And that was a very powerful and is a very powerful uh, experience. And I believe that that's what changes us the most. At least I think for me, that's what changed me the most. That I could have the worst uh, mind and the worst uh, behavior, and people around me were looking at me with kindness. Um, I can remember the precise moment when I couldn't uh, do certain behaviors anymore because it was so painful, because I was met with kindness. Because, you know, in the world, that's, in, in my life, that's not what I would get. I would act out of my afflictions, and I would get back the other person's afflictions, and we'd, you know, do the ping pong thing back and forth, and, you know, then stop at some point, and that would be the end of it, you know, and then we'd feel terrible. Um, but here, uh, you, you don't get to play ping pong at all. <laughs> It doesn't come back at you. Um, uh, so that's the beauty of uh, the community, and that's what uh, offers then the space. You know, I'm left holding the ping pong ball all the time, and so I have to look. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look, you know, what am I doing? What's my mind doing? And, you know, what's my motivation? And, you know, why am I making myself miserable, you know? Um, and so I use that one a lot. Um, uh, you know, I ask myself all the time, Jigme, you can continue to think this way. Do you want to make yourself miserable? <laughs> and my answer was no. <laughs> so then it was like, drop it. Drop it, you know. And so then I would drop it. Um, <coughs> I used that one mostly when I was uh, criticizing myself, actually. When I was, when my mind would criticize others, you know, just this habitual, you know, commenting on, you know, somebody else's behavior in my mind, I would <coughs> often just turn my mind immediately to a kind of a mini meta meditation. I would just, the next thing I would think would be, may you be happy, may you be free of suffering. And just doing that would get me off that criticism channel, you know. Um, because the mind works in a way that you can't have something positive and negative at the same time. So if I place something positive or virtuous in my mind, then uh, the junk doesn't have a place uh, to, uh, to arise anymore. So that would work pretty good. <coughs> and I guess over time then, um, what happens is that... Uh, I would start trying different ways to move my mind away from misery, really. And uh, then I would find the different antidotes that would work. And so then that's kind of the medicine chest of the antidotes. And um, over time, then also I could 
understand which antidote would work with what kind of mind because every day the mind is different, you know, but after a while you can kind of, oh, this will work for this and this won't work for that one and, you know, then I can kind of pick out and use and, you know, that doesn't always work, but there are so many different ways to work with the mind that the Buddha taught that uh, you'll, if you just don't give up, you'll always find something that will turn the mind and get you out of the misery place. Um, and so over time, what this has done is really, I have such an unwavering conviction in the teachings of the Buddha and the, and the brilliant way that he set up community. If you live in a community, you cannot help but change in a positive way. It is impossible to stay in a, a, you know, a, a, I don't know what you call it. Poopy, poopy, poopy <laughs> mind. You can't stay in a poopy mind. <laughs> Holding your ping pong balls. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I'm happy <laughs> and I am relieved. <laughs> Uh, and I hope everyone can uh, use the Buddhist teachings in this way to find uh, also some peace of mind uh, and some contentment because it's available to every one of us. Mm.